Game up and running. Okay, today is Team Weekend, I believe. Do you have a budget preference? Uh, I'm tempted to try 20 again to see if I can come off something better than uh, darkening into you. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, chat, please pick a map for us. We just did River Crossing. That's the first game of the day. So, someone in chat, please pick a map for us. Alpine River, Big Lock, Death Valley, or the Stacks. First in chat, and that's the map we'll play. Lock it is. Do uh, foggy name. Okay, it's uh, room is created and it's Team Mickey and the password is Cinnabar. Somehow I don't think my forty six point eight million lance is gonna fit into twenty. Probably not. No. Which rigs, Eric's? Which rigged? My loss? <laughs> Tarkus is a cheater. Plain and simple, he's a cheater. Two headshots. One game. It's outrageous. <laughs> You're not allowed to retire, Tarkus. <laughs> You're not allowed to retire. can't retire on a game that doesn't matter. It's one thing to retire after you've won the championship, but you don't get to retire after you won a, a league game. Hell, that wasn't even for the playoffs. Doesn't even get you into the playoffs. Or keep you out. <laughs> and speaking of, if you are participating in the league, make sure you are... Uh, playing games against other people and let me know who's winning or losing put the standings up well currently how many games have been played at least so there's the look of the league at the moment we need to get more people playing um, I've played 24 of the games 24 games so far so far next per closest person is uh, Tarkus at 10 Camusol at 7 Yaw Kangaroo at 6 so we need to have more people playing here so, if you'd like to participate, yes, League, if you... Or tonnage here. Okay, no problem. No rush, no rush. So, so if you are participating in the Battletech uh, uh, beta testing, and you'd like to, to take part in the League there, um, all you need to do is send me a whisper here on Twitch. It's slash W space Gimpy21. And just say you'd like to join the League. And point of the league of this part of the league the spreadsheet is to keep track of who's winning and losing games and then once everybody's got a decent amount of games in um, we will use the winning percentages to seed people into a double elimination tournament um, where the prize will be a $20 steam wallet code so an actual real prize for winning yeah and also you know be sure to um, we do have a channel set up on both Discord and the Twitch app for um, setting up uh, games. I believe the timer is... 
that I won't do it now. Um, we also and I also have uh, two uh, gaming game rooms set up for whatever. I mean, you can use them for BattleTag or whatever. Um, both on Discord and Twitch, uh, the Twitch app. We've got game room one and game room two, and I set them specifically up for uh, people to use um, when they're doing their uh, BattleTag games, um, so they have some place to to go just in case they don't have a place to go um, to talk to each other once they're playing the games and stuff. But you can use them for other games as well. It doesn't cost me anything, so might as well put them to use if you want. I'm taking a couple of mechs I don't typically take. That's okay. Just to see what happens. And, like I said, be sure to set up, you know, if you are participating, like, be sure to set up <laughs> games with other people. Usually when I'm streaming is a good time, because that's usually when people are watching. They're not not always available, but sometimes they are. I know Car Tarkus has gotten a couple of games in um, while I was streaming. Because, uh, you know, that's the way it works. Sometimes it's just people sitting around waiting for a game, because I can't play, you know, <laughs> more than one person at a time. So if you're just sitting around watching, just waiting to play me, you might as well play somebody else who's in the league at, while you're waiting, so. There. Okay. Affirmative. Commander. Move order confirmed. You'd play more with a mech lab. But stock mechs are so much fun, Zephyrus. And I honestly, I don't, I don't feel, I mean, I've, I'm up to how many matches now in multiplayer? 24, I'm up to 20, 27 matches in multiplayer. Okay, that's on top of the 51 I give, I've done against the, the AI. So I've had a few hours in this game, and I don't feel it's it's not getting old to me. It really isn't. I'm really enjoying Standing it. By. And it, I know it's not even close. I mean, it's not done. This is just beta testing. We don't even have all the mechs in the beta test. The, so on my way. then there's the single player that's coming out when it, you know when it's finally released that should be Advancing. that's what i'm really looking forward to but multiplayer i hear you I have not it doesn't feel old to me at all yet moving to position now against the ai kind of does simply because the AI isn't much of a challenge. Unless you put yourself at a, a really big disadvantage, playing against the AI isn't real exciting, typically. So, But that's, that can be fun, too. <laughs> Just putting yourself at a really big disadvantage and seeing if you can pull it off. Did they add more mechs from launch? Uh, just the fire starter. Just the fire starter. Receiving you. Yes, Commander. Hey. Okay, let's the go. Chat. There we go. What can I do for you? Oh, I had the stream turned off, so I don't spoil it for myself. Oh. <laughs> so you're responding to the chat, and I can throw that up in my second monitor. Yeah. And I'm kind of surprised they didn't add a few more mechs into this uh, version, this iteration. Of it. Simply because uh, the Blackjack and the Enforcer, those models, from what I could tell in the previous version, are they're done. 
I mean, I was I used them quite often before, and they seem like they're done. The what? Cataphract. Cataphract looked good, like it was pretty much done as well. Um, and the, the Cataphract and the Firestarter were actually same, in the same kind of boat as far as uh, artwork and, yeah, artwork. On the move. Um, so I'm a little, I'm surprised, again, the Cataphract is up there too is why that one didn't make it in. Um, but like, because there were four mechs in the previous one that you could, the models were in, and, but the Firestarter and the Cataphract uh, weapon artwork wasn't quite done. But they stayed, they played fine. They had their weapons and they worked and that kind of stuff. It's just that. Uh, Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, I'm just. I really saying. enjoyed the mech variants that some people modded in, like the Karita uh, version of the catapult with the PVCs. That was fun. Oh, I just did my like I there were, I used there was there was actually two atlases in, in the in the previous one too. I don't know if it's still there, but it was a laser boat um, atlas, and it kind of. Eh, but I, I made it into a, basically a, a typical old school MWO DDC Atlas. You know, it had the it had the three SRM sixes, AC twenty, and a couple of mediums, and that was kind of fun to use as well. And no, and so I ended, so I could actually you know I had, I had two choices: I had the Atlas D, or I could bring the DDC into. That was kind of fun. What can I do for you? No need to tell me twice. And like I said, I played the blackjack and the enforcer fairly often too. They're fun. And the cataphract. The cataphract is actually a decent heavy Receiving mag. You. Position confirmed. Yeah, so there were some fun variants, but uh, what scares me and worries me is I still haven't seen any of the unseen since uh, very early in the. Moving to position. Pike. Right. Uh, no Marauder, no Warhammer. Right. Uh, I'm hoping the Harmony Gold uh, lawsuit isn't interfering with their release. I, I don't think that was. Well, I don't know. Was it? When they first released this, it was after. It was after the, the actual Harmony Gold file was the Harmony suit was filed. We didn't find out about the Harmony Gold file suit until this past what June, late June, I think it was, and. Um, and the Harmony Gold uh, suit was filed earlier this year, somewhere back in like March or April, I think. So, and this was released for beta testing in May, roughly, or right around the same time the suit was officially fired, filed that we didn't know about, of course. But that would explain why none of those mechs made it in here, because that would have been, uh, I'm guessing, problematic. Okay, what are you doing? Where are you? <laughs> I did not go straight up the center, obviously. I can tell. That means I have to... <sighs> Waiting on you, Commander. It's, it's really... A, a, I want to explore some of the other terrain and fight from something other than just the island itself. Ah, uh, okay. Because I've fought off that island against uh, players and the AI so many times. I just want to see if there's a more interesting spot. Um, sadly, not really. <laughs> sadly, there's not really. The sides, there's stuff on, I think, on one of the sides. And the, it would be my right. I think there's, like, some buildings and whatever up on there. There's, like, a road. But it's really a bad spot to play from because the lake has a lot of deep spots in it. And it, it restricts movement a lot if you're not careful. Especially on the sides. There's a reason why we all go to the middle. Moving out. Ready for orders. Got it. I'm here. Moving to position. That they had a bunch in the unlock. There are a bunch of mechs sitting in the files. They can be on, you know, you can turn them on, but the problem is, is you can't use them in multiplayer unless everyone you play against, you know, has them unlocked as well. I think that's how it, how it works. Because if, if your files don't don't match up, you can't. It'll it cause it doesn't cause it prevents you from connecting. 
you know, it's a anti-cheat feature, basically. What can I do for you? Okay, so we need to head over there. Fire starter and a quick draw. Yeah, those deep spots won't inter interfere with me. I got jump jets. Oh, yeah, well, I don't mix up jump jets. Moving out. <laughs> okay, which one of your sensor locking? Shadow, welcome back. Guess what they add them after the Yes. I would expect the all the unseens that well and the thing is is only two of the unseen only the Warhammer and the Marauder are supposed to be in the game at at release anyway. All the others are, you know, maybe down the road type deals. So you know, it was we're only be missing the Marauder and the Warhammer or uh, official mechs and that kind of stuff. Receiving you. Attacking from position. I wonder if I've gotten more evasive charges if I had jumped there. Probably. Yeah. And Sephiroth, it also explains why the Valkyrie wants to bring a Crusader in, not in MMO. Um, actually, I don't think so. Though, got to remember the Wasp and the Stinger and the Valkyrie, those are kind of smaller mechs. And PGI's been avoiding the lights for adding them into the game, or at least because of the way they add stuff in. You know, with the single Awaiting mech, orders. you know, routine. It kind of makes it difficult to add all of them in in large chunks, especially when they knew that they were working on the 3060 stuff anyway. You know, they've, they've been working on that for a while. So you've got to have a heavy back there. Catapult, Jagermech, or... <laughs> you can't get an assault in. That's not an assault, it's in a heavy. Uh, you could squeeze an assault in here, but you'd, yeah, have, but you'd be taking a big hit, right? You'd have to have Master Tactician on it, and I don't think you took that. Oh, either. okay, so you're saying. So I'm trying to figure out which heavy you've got hiding back there. I'm guessing it's either the Catapult or the Jagermech. But I, I can't do the math right now. <laughs> I really need to have a spreadsheet of all the possible answers. <laughs> It, yeah, exactly, Tarkus. The the light mechs for a single mech, it doesn't make a lot of sense for MW to uh, to do light mech packs too often, simply because unless it's a really special everybody wants, I don't see you know people picking them up simply because they're just uh, hey, how come I can't move my camera? Hey, leave my commando alone. What now? There? Okay. Oh, the lion. I did not expect that. He's not that big. They're not that tough. Crusader was worker is the only main mech from the original set that's not in game and has some amazing 3060 models. But there's so many mechs that aren't in, in MWO already. That's the thing. They can't put everything in. Oh, this is gonna go well.
Actually, I got one mech that could not quite participate in the part of me. But the Crusader is an unseen, right, Cephas? That's why it's not in there. Whether it's Harmony Gold related or not. But I don't think... Is the Crusader really that popular? Well, it's not Mech Warrior Online, is it? But that's what he's... Cephas is, is one... Is, we're talking about mechs that are... Why they're not in Mech Warrior Online. It's, why isn't the Crusader in there? It's like... Who knows? I mean, it's... I think it's one of the unseen. That's probably one of the reasons. And the thing is, is it one of the more popular unseens, or is it not so popular? And I'm of the boat, or in the in the the group that says it's not that popular. Because basically, the the big name unseens are in now. You know, with the rifleman, the archer, and the warhammer marauder and phoenix hawk. Those are oh, probably the five biggest the ones. Wasp and the stinger, though. Say what? I wouldn't mind the wasp and the stinger. Those are. Nice max. Yeah, the downside to them though is um, their lights, and lights tend to not sell so well in MWO, especially lately because of um, they're so easy to kill. <laughs> you know, it doesn't double gauss. You're limping along, uh, and more than likely, you know, if they hit a side door, so you're dead. You know that kind of stuff. Lights are just so fragile. That's what, and, so, and as a result, most people know that, so they don't sell very well. Crusader was the Veritech in armored version. They were extremely popular back when I played more so than the Quick Draw Thunderbolt and Jaeger Mech. But the difference is, though, Zephyrus, is the Quick Draw Thunderbolt and Jaegers aren't unseen. <laughs> that's, that's the difference. Good to go. I managed to move to a position where I couldn't take advantage of that mech ah. in any way, shape, or form. Which is cycling through my options in frustration. <laughs> Sprinting! Commando's running away! He's gotta live Very to fight scared. it. He's gotta fight to live another day. Or live to fight another day, that's what it is. Standing by. Aye, aye. Oh, look at that. Oh, Jaeger sitting back there with all his LRMs. Panther. Our starter. However. Did you just save me a sensor lock? Maybe. Confirmed. No! What? <laughs> okay, that that was pain. Did you not see my Atlas game? <laughs> Did you not see the Atlas game? That was payback for that, maybe. <laughs> oh man, that was the whole plan. Put Paradise in the quick draw and jump around a lot. Yep. <sighs> well, that plan worked well. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes plans just don't work the way you think they're gonna work. It wasn't supposed to be a plan. We just use him as a distraction. Oh God, your first shot. <laughs> and Shadow, how long do you expect this lawsuit to last? Uh, who knows? Honestly, we don't really know what stage they're in because we're getting documents at a delayed, you know, rate. Um, so we don't even know where it is. You know what what actual real status, where, what the real status of the lawsuit is. Right now, I think they're still, you know, exchanging documents and that kind of stuff with the court. So. Light damage. Holding firm. This is not going to end well. I got lucky. Ready for really order. lucky. Lord in Jesus. Yep. You either pray to it or you curse it. That was paradise, too. You know, he's supposed to take a few hits. Oh. Uh, and he bitches the whole time it's happening. Yeah. The quick draw is in a very hysterical sprawl from my point of view right now. <laughs> She's laying down on the beach. Now, let's see how you handle this. Okay, that's RNGesus is on my side right now. Really is. Oh, yeah. 
that. That was like a 50% chance to hit with the AC-10. Maybe less. Yeah, and you core to him. Yeah. Oh, poor Quick Draw. Laying down on the job. Well, it is Labor Day weekend. He's supposed to be kicking back, relaxing on the beach. Just want to point that out. No, it can headshot mechs, Shadow. It just can't kill them straight out with an AC-10. But I didn't hit I didn't hit the quick draw with an AC-10. It was the Hunchy 4G with the 20. He took the 20 to the head on the beach. Tar what just happened? There's just something about payback. Oh, Tarkus, I headshot his quick draw with an AC-20. Yeah, you just can't, the AC-10 can't headshot kill a fresh mech. If they, they've taken some damage to the head, to the cockpit, an AC-10 or a PPC can kill them. It's just they can't just kill a fresh mech with one hit, with an AC-10 or a PPC anymore. You used to be able to, but not anymore. There are a number of mechs that can melee kill if they punch for the cockpit. Right. If you get, yeah, if you're, I think uh, you need a large mech to do that, though. You have to have a larger mech attacking a smaller mech for that to happen. And of course, uh, you can DFA a cockpit too. That, I've done that, that once or twice. I'll try. That was like a case you were shooting for the, the mech that was easier to hit. That was the easier one to hit. Because your uh, fire starters got all kinds of evasion on them, and even hitting the panther wasn't easy. <laughs> it was still like only forty-five percent. So, <laughs> there's the Jaeger, pesky little missiles, more hunchy. Moving armor. Oh, even if I take the hunchy down, you're still up 15 tons, 10 tons? 10 tons, yeah. Commander? But losing the hunchy is a lot of firepower, too. Coordinates received. Oh, here comes that little jerk of a commando back into the fight. <laughs> Gee, he's not a jerk. Jeez. He ran away. He's supposed to run away. He's a commando. It's a 25 ton That's, mech. He's supposed to run away. And that is the reason I hate taking them, is they, they really have no effective role other than essential lock and run away, it feels like right now. Yeah. Oh, now who's running away? G incoming. they're targeted weapons or if it's just an area effect like the the SRM I really don't know what the implementation is uh, for flamers I'm not sure myself either I'm here here's the problem now I'm still down 10 tons 15 something like that. I'll call me and that panther is cord and he's just about to die Oh, you got a rear shot on the fire shot. I didn't think you could get there. Never doubt the Centurion. 
Got it. Roger. Oh. Rallymers don't do actual damage, just heat damage. Actually, I think they do real damage too, Tarkus. I think they do actually real damage. Not a lot, but I think there is actual real damage with the Flamers. Hey, Vector. Welcome back. Okay, so... For the heavies, right? Yep. So there's this pesky little Jaeger sitting way back there. Who is... Gonna be pestering the Centurion more than likely. So many hits for long range. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. So many hits for long range. Yes, Commander. Well, it's good that the quick draw absorbed a decent amount of damage before it went down. <laughs> the, the quick draw? <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> Perhaps. Laying in there and. What's the fire starter gonna do? He's gonna watch its heat, that's for sure. <laughs> He's not that bad. Victor, you hope they add more cinematic views during weapon volley similar to XCOM 2. We only really we only really see them when it's our turn, right? Yeah, I don't see cinematic stuff when you do it. This is a clear case where I did not want to get the rear shot. <laughs> no, I want to take that right torso off if I can. So I want to make sure I'm shooting at the right side, not the rear of it. That was BS. That was such BS. Waiting for orders. Such BS. Now, if I had moved to your rear, I would have chewed chewed up a bunch of armor that uh, is fresh. But still, the right—that uh, was a lot of damage to the right torso. Wasn't that beat up? Well, eh, it was orange, but still, it's a freaking fire starter. It doesn't do that much damage. Only oh, two mediums. That's fifty. See, I'm thinking those fl those flamers are doing real damage because, like I said, that the side torso on the on the Centurion I think was at sixty for structure. mediums they only do 25 each so that's basically two really lucky hits to hit the same spot despite the fact of having three things to hit including the head according to when Atlas headshot it says five ten for damage so five real damage and ten heat yeah that's what I thought so that and that's why the centurion lost a side door so commander The 
limited number of shots on the flares is, is a pretty heavy restriction. I'd rather have them do less heat and be, have them more useful to run. my way. Not that this fire starts to be less of a shot. Alrighty. Good to go. Well, I, I realize this is an ammo explosion, but still. <laughs> still. Centurion is still in good shape. Despite losing his main weapon, he's still okay. One or two of the light mechs for that Commander? Centurion right now. I don't know if there's a place you can get a shot on the, the fire starter with that commando. Think so. Where you're at. Is there? Nope. I guess not. Firing everything I've got. He's basically a stick now. Yeah, flamer, two flamers machine gun. You're running out of ammo on the flamers, more than likely. So we have the the good commando, and I'm using good in quotes.
Вроде да. See if you can multi-target and take out both like mechs in one shot. I know you're gonna try. Nah, that's what I'm shooting for. Engaging multiple enemies. Easy ten missed, of course. Not good enough, of course. And so we're gonna miss a lot. Yep. That's my luck. So you still have a well, I forgot a healthy heavy too, but Oh, the commando got or the fire star got knocked down. Didn't notice that at first. So that means commando goes before him if he survives. Because your Jaeger's still going. But you can't see me, can you? With the Jaeger. Because your fire starter's on the ground. Sensor locked, are we? No. Oh, your Panther can see my Orion, though, can't you? You can see the Commando, too? That's yep. not right. <laughs> threw my armor. Well, the Panther can see him. The Panther can see the Commando. Yeah, I can direct line of sight on it. Wow. Like yesterday, I, I was not getting line of sight that far. I think that's tactic skill right there. Oh. Maybe. Waiting for orders. Still. That's crap. That's a five tactic, so... Well, something's giving me line of sight of the commando still. It might be the fire starter. No, the fire starter's on the ground. You don't see anything when you're on the ground. I think they still have a visibility of like no, one they don't. square or something. No, I think when oh, you're on the ground, they can, you don't see anything when you're on the ground. That's, what, yeah, that's usually how it works, at least. Hey, Skybird, welcome back. Moving to position. Yet. Hopefully. All weapons are go. Okay, there we go. So number two two. But commando really beat up. It's still pretty fresh. There moves now though. Now you can still see both of them, right? No, right now I cannot, so it must have been the oh, fire Oh, it was firestarter. the fire starter. Okay. Yeah, Patarkas, but apparently that's not true. Because he's saying he can't see me now. He didn't have... He lost visual. When the, when the panther... Or when the fire starter died, he lost visual. So... Poor little commando. Gave his life. We need a new plan. Gave his life to kill a kill a stupid fire starter. Yes, commander. Yeah, but I'll probably lose the Panther in ex exchange here. Huzzah! I really was pushing the heat on that one. Oh, focus, dog. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you'd still have that. Yeah. Because that evasive. Here we go. Oh well, Alpha was not needed. Everything else is a waste. That's what you said. You lose visual when you are knocked over, you still get sensors. But but the thing is, Tarkus, is when he was knocked over, right? And he was still had visual on the Orion and the Commando. Right? But the but the fire starter was on the ground. The and then when I killed the fire starter, he lost visual. So the fire starter was actually that from the ground was providing visual contact. So now we're even. Can't see each other.
Oh, you're gonna make me chase you, huh? Well, not so much chase me, but... Standing I'll be damned by. if I'm gonna stand out in the open. That and I might be a little toasty right now. Toasty? Me too. Copy. I'm toasty. Well, that's interesting. We fell out of um, initiative phase. Well, yeah, because we can't see each other. We don't. We don't have. We don't have radar detection on on site, or we don't have any. Well, there we go. When you lose sensor contact, it goes back to uh, everybody moves type deal. Right here. Moving to position. You know, you're. I don't have jump jets, so I can't get over there. Unless there's a path over here. I don't know this map. No, that's not. That's cliffs. That's cliffs. I'm not exactly running away, but I'm not getting closer to bring myself into your short range. I know. It's just I'm looking for a way to get over there. I'm just presenting an interesting tactical challenge. Yes, Commander. <laughs> No, you're trying to get me into line of sight so you can... Well, actually, if you get me in the line of sight, I, I get to shoot back, so... Yeah, you've got more armor than me, and another ten tons of Roger that. Well, you're a Jaeger. You've got shit for armor. Exactly. I got... something. Skybird, is your pilot on... Orientation course. <sighs> yes, at this point. I'm really just moving for the one evasive charge. Standing by. Blocking control. Ruining the forests. Moving full speed. Better is better tactics. How do you know, Tarkus? He would still need line of sight, though. That's the thing. He still needs line of sight somehow. Right here. Just like that. On my way. Found you. Roger that. If, <laughs> if is pilot. Oh, if. Okay, sorry. I missed the if part. thing is going to drive me nuts in this, this iteration. Shortening it to 200 meters really makes it difficult. Yep. I'm, I'm trying to move to ideal uh, range for my weapons, and I don't have line of sight at ideal I'm range firm. for my weapons. Strikes me as a little bit, you know, 
odd. Yeah, I yeah I went through that yesterday in a in another game. It was just like ugh, so frustrating. I mean, it's like you know one mech can see, but the other one that's one space away can't, and yeah, it's, it's yeah. <laughs> so now we get to see how good the armor of the Jaeger actually isn't. No, focus fire too. I don't know if that's going to help. Well, you I so want to know that massive alpha alpha is high. Oh, you know what? It doesn't impact the LRM as much. Nope, because you're within the you're within the minimum range. Oh, I'm hit. <sighs> of course, the the headshots again. Yes, Commander. Hey, what's up? Girls got cookies. Engaging. I was gonna say, how did I not get an arm there? Watch the heat! Oh, he hit me in the... he hit the cockpit there. <laughs> he did. <laughs> 25 points worth. Stupid laser. Skyver, two scientists looking at an insect under a microphone. One says, is that a strategic flea? The other one says, no, it's just a tactic. <sighs> Skyver. Let's see if we can kick you in the head. I have no, no idea where that hit you. I think that hit me in the oh, uh, left arm. No, right arm. No, 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 no. Right here. Yeah, I think that was the left arm. I can Oh, well. I'll try. Yeah, it Going actually pretty shot, but you got to do it. Oh, there's a 95% chance hit there, by the way. Nice. That was 95%. Whiff, somebody's not going to play baseball. I wish I could push you off the cliff, that would be so awesome. Locking in target. I'm trying to remember the tabletop charge rules where they did actually move the enemy necromancer. Affecting my performance. Yeah, it's not in this game because they said it would cause too many issues. Shot shouldn't finish me. 
and charging and pushing in tabletop both displaced the enemy mech one charging and pushing into tabletop okay both both charging and message. pushing displaced the enemy mech one x and typical pickle gamer thank you for the follow um so and like i said they were they they've mentioned specifically be melee from behind you Oh, really? How come you? How come you're able to run around me for that kind of stuff, and I'm not able to do that to you? Something you're not that much faster. You're freaking me here. You're a Jaeger. She is deaf to magic. Right here. <laughs> Cheater. That's what I'm thinking. Cheater. Hacks. I'm there. Nothing but hacks for, against me today, apparently. I'd rather use weapons, but. Uh oh. I'm still not dead. <laughs> <laughs> so well, now I have no choice. Oh, you get to move now. <sighs> Focused melee attack. Yeah, it's not giving me the option of running up the hill behind you this time. It shouldn't. We're too close for that. Arms overrated. Standing by. I need you to be able to shoot me with that extra round. How much structure do you have left? 17. I think we'll just do this. Locking in target. <laughs> uh, Enemy down. Oh. GG. Yep, good game. That was fun. That was a good one, I think. Yeah, what? yeah. Even what? with the uh, the quick drone going down, I still managed to bring it to an interesting ending. Yep. Lucky headshot from the AC-20 definitely helped. But I sack, you know, I lost the hunchy because of it too. In the end, yeah, so. prime salvage on that quick draw. Damn right. <laughs> okay, I gotta make up for something here. Gotta scrub the blood off. Eh. Nothing a, a welding torch can't fix. So that. So salvage wise, basically, I'm just walking out with an Orion and a quick draw. Anyway, that was a good game. Well, you created two mediums and a light mech for a heavy. That's not terrible in terms of salvage. No. But you're not going to survive the, the single-player campaign like that. No. Well, that that's what I'm kind of curious about, how the single-player campaign is going to work. I mean, how is salvage actually going to work? And are you going to be running into situations where, like this, where you lose two-thirds of your, or three-quarters of your force? You know, like, that's not very <laughs> economical. You know, hopefully, Cost effective, yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna guess it's gonna be not so harsh in the for in most cases. I mean, of course, you're gonna run into situations where it's gonna be probably brutal, but I would think in most cases it can't be this brutal. You would you, you wouldn't last very long, long enough. So, yeah, anyway. you need to be able to recover some of those mechs. That's what I mean. Is you'd have to. Yeah, you'd have to be able to recover some of the stuff. But it's all CT gone. I mean, there's usually, in in previous games, if the CT's gone, the mech is gone. Because that's the reactor and everything in there. So, I don't know. It, it'll be interesting to see what, what how it actually works in the single player. Anyway, good game. Yep. You have another one on deck? or? Um, I don't know. I haven't asked yet. Just give me a second. Chat. 